Hey, how's it going? Hope you've been well. We're going on a little camping trip. We're in the parking lot in Conifer, actually by an electric charging station because Diamondback is out visiting with the Ford Lightning, but it's not even here because this charger's too slow. <laughs> so Andy drove all the way down 20 minutes away to get to a faster charger so he could drive faster and then he could come back up here and we caravan to a trail. So electric truck problems. I'm out here with some, some boys. Wings. You'll meet more later in the video, but we got three Tacomas here. One more getting added to the group and a Ford Lightning that we're taking out on a trail that is at the upper limits of what the Ford Lightning can handle. So, we're definitely gonna scratch it up. We'll see how it does. And then Jason Overland Eats is gonna cook us a marvelous dinner. So we'll check in soon. They're gonna race. I'm literally floored right now. <laughs> Here we are, gonna air down a little bit. We don't know if we're gonna air down the lightning yet. Figuring that out, but everyone else lined up, airing down. Four Tacomas in a Ford, right in the middle. Okay, I'm gonna air down. Feeling good? Feeling confident? Not confident, though. I don't think we should have aired down quite this low. <laughs> it's, a, it's a heavy vehicle. We'll see how the Toyo AT3s handle a 8,000 pound truck. better, Mike. You get better with every day.
<laughs> I love it up there. You having fun, bro? Oh my gosh. I was born to be up here. I need my kid and wife, but they couldn't live with the cold, I don't think. I've had a smile on my face from like that first water crossing. That was like 45 minutes ago. My smile went away a little bit when it told me to plug in because it was too cold. My, my uh, life straw is not right, going to work. Let's, go, let's stand on top. Let's stand on top of the lightning with the moon in the background. Yes. Yes. Everyone on the lightning. Oh, thank goodness for these cleats. Yeah. Yeah, we can get down to the front. I feel like I want to sit in the middle. Yeah. And have get like. In the middle. Yeah, yeah. Get in, dude. And have you guys just the coolest rad posse ever. <laughs> <laughs> Follow the road until it does on that little higher spot. All right, we made it to camp. Got kind of crazy setup. Jason's over here cooking. I'll flip the camera around and kind of show you around. iPhone 14 Pro. The iPhone is gone. No, look at this low light. I just handheld low light shot that. What the? And that was like right now. Come on, watch it with the language. <laughs> crazy. That is nuts. Uh, so we got my setup over here. Talon over here. Talon's got a little, what kind of fire pit is this? It's from a company in Denver called Fire Anytime. And it's the Lava Box. Lava Box from Fire Anytime. It's a propane fire pit. We've got string lights going around. I brought the bio light out. No fire bands currently. So we got real wood fire going. Still not sponsored at all, but my favorite <laughs> fire pit. Fire Hashtag fire. not sponsored yeah, at all. Andy with Diamondback. Andy with Diamondback. Here's the only reason I have a job. The only reason. <laughs> hey guys. What do we got? I'm gonna flip the mic around. Yeah, you sure. Tell us what we're eat what we're, what are we eating tonight? What's going on, gang? Um, tonight we're doing a little corn and shrimp uh, chowder, kind of a Cajun take on. We're doing a little extra cayenne pepper. And we're doing on Dewey sausage instead of bacon. But uh, <laughs> serve it up with a little bit of French bread. Should be good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I hear we got crab legs. As yeah, well, know, gonna, maybe uh, some steaks. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what we get going on. This is Sam's truck over here. He's got tent on top, awning. This is Sam. Hello, Sam. And then he's got a little awning set up in here. We'll see how the weather is. If we're outside, inside, fire pits, other fire pits, whatever. So lightning's over here. It doesn't have a rooftop tent or anything, so it's just kind of on the side over here. I heard actually a couple guys were gonna ground tent and they're actually just gonna sleep on the floor in the awning. That's pretty cool. All right, I had to turn the camp music off so I, I killed the vibe, so I'm gonna turn the music back on. Here we go. Well, you lowered it. Eight point nine. <laughs> Please, sir, can I have some more? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, 
unfrosted pop tarts with cream cheese apparently. Apparently, this is Andy's concoction. We're trying it out. Learned it from the great war of my grandma. Great grandma. Great great Grammy did it. Yeah. We got eggs too, right? How long does it take to go? We're up here, Alpine Lake. Colorado, moose just crossing the lake, and we got the Ford Lightning out here. So we're out here getting going the next morning. We just honestly sat around the campfire all night talking. So I didn't really film much at all last night. And then we've been up for a couple hours now. This morning, uh, got the propane fire pit. Still definitely like a regular fire pit. Much more warm, but also more of a pain. So we're getting kind of packed up here earlier. I didn't have my camera in hand, but I got a little iPhone footage had a family of moose that were hanging out here in the morning, but they also swam across this lake over to the other side. So that was pretty cool. We got the lightning out here, about to do a little walk around of it. It's probably on my channel. I'm guessing I posted that one first. And the rest of the tacos camp set up. Just kind of cleaning up now. I gotta head home. These guys are gonna head out to another trail for another night of camping. I was just up here. Nice warm night up in here. Had a electric blanket that I hooked up to my EcoFlow Delta Mini and really just preheated the bag so I could get into a nice warm bag at night. I like that, adding that little bit of comfort. Did go ahead and bring the Powerade bottle with me. Had a nice pee pee. Didn't have to get up and out of the tent. So I'll dump that out here in a second. And that makes it so you don't have to get up in the middle of the night when it's 20 degrees outside and go pee. Burn through all the firewood I brought in the bio light. Still my favorite fire pit to date. It was a nice night. It was a nice night. I think I'm gonna get behind the wheel of the lightning for a little bit this morning so I can get some hands on time with it. So here we are in inside of the Lightning, driving it out on a trail. I'm just heading to a spot that may have a nice little overlook to film a little walk around here. And again, check out Diamondbacks. YouTube and Instagram is they'll be putting out a lot of Diamondback lightning videos soon.
All right, we made it down the mountain. The gas vehicles are airing up now. And then the electric vehicle. Electric vehicles charging up. Andy says this is a fast one. Relatively. Relatively fast. Looks like it's going at, well, it's going at 70. 70 kilowatts. So it says 38 minutes remaining till what? Probably 90. Till 90% probably? That's oh, wrong that's though. That's not bad at all. They're lying. They're lying? It is bad. It slows down? No, I mean, really, yeah, it, you hit a couple gates, you'll hit 60%, and it'll drop from 71 to, let's say, 50 kilowatts or something. So Andy's driven this truck across country, literally from Pennsylvania to here. Tell us about your experiences with the Lightning. It's hard, 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 no. Um, so here we are at your proverbial second home, the place he's spent more time at than anywhere in the last week, basically? Um, it's been more than a week, but yeah. More than a week. So Andy got this Lightning. They're from Pennsylvania, Diamondbacks from Pennsylvania. And so he drove this thing cross country. Tell us about your experience. Wouldn't recommend it. Wouldn't recommend it. Uh, no, I mean, it, you know, we kind of expected a bunch of headache. Uh, it, we, we get the novelty of an electric vehicle versus p filling up at a gas pump. It was way harder than we thought. I mean, the, the charging stations, if they all pumped out what this one is at 71 kilowatts, it would have been okay. Still not ideal. But we were in parking lots for hours and hours and hours. So, you know, if you're road tripping to see America, you're going to be looking at Walmart uh, <laughs> or a parking lot. Yeah, it was a, but it's a really fun truck to drive. We, we were also doing something with it that it wasn't meant to do. We're, we're driving it through farmland and desert uh, cross country. But if you're driving around your local area, it's a fun truck to drive, the most fun truck to drive, I, I would say, that I've driven. And I've driven the Freedom Tremor. Um, it's also- Blasphemy! <laughs> it's also the best offer. I mean, we just took it up to 13,000 feet and back, and it made me want to trade my Tacoma in for, for that aspect alone. I mean, it just rolled over everything. Really heavy, great traction, tons of power. And we, we made it back off the mountain. We were worried from the time we left PA about this part of the trip, climbing up to altitude and then, you know, the temperature up there. And we watched the range dip a little bit, but really, all in all, I barely used any battery going up the mountain. Nice. So, awesome truck to actually drive, not great for cross country, and maybe the ideal setup is you got a charger at home and you're not going too far. 30 amp breaker, 50 watt plug, charge at home overnight. And I mean, you can go far. It's not, you're not even limited that much. Most people aren't driving 200 miles on a daily basis. So I mean, yeah. you, can, you, can, you can travel in it and, and I wouldn't hesitate to drive it into a neighboring state, you know, New York or Maryland where, where we live. Uh, but yeah, if you can charge it at home and keep it juiced up, then I mean, you're golden, you're paying next to nothing for fuel. Yeah, all in all, awesome truck, not ready for cross country travel, uh, at least with the current infrastructure, but I would drive it back to Colorado to hang out with my buddies. Yeah, I don't regret that part. And uh, <laughs> all right, back. man, it's good hanging. You too, man. All right, so I think that's it for this trip. I didn't film a whole lot, I had friends from out of town. I was thinking about not even making a video, but I uh, decided we would go ahead and do it because, I don't know, this is a cool trip. So I'll link to everyone's. This is Rocky Mountain Yoda. This is Jason Overland Eats. Sam is his real name. Me. And then we got Talon over here. He's airing up the lightning. And we're going to go grab some lunch. And then I'm going to head home and they're going to go out for one more night. All right, guys. It's been real. Love you. Love you Peace out. Later, later, later. Baby, come back. <laughs>